All right, welcome. Today we're gonna do four super sunset techniques. All right, so our first technique is to start out with colored poster board. Colored poster board is really useful for creating uh, some sunsets because you don't have to previously paint it and that paint's not gonna get mixed up in your sunset. So you can work with the brighter colors on the darker colors. If you don't have a colored poster board, I get mine at Staples, but if you can't find any, uh, paint your poster board whatever color you want and let it dry overnight. All right, our second technique is we're going to apply the paint with a piece of magazine paper. So you spray your paint onto the magazine paper. Here I'm using some reds and some oranges. That's pretty much all I'm using. And towards the top, I'm doing red and orange, and towards the center, it's pretty much just orange. And I'm sliding that magazine paper across, and I'm creating a streaky sky by sliding the paper. And there's all kinds of little things that happen just all kind of automatically. And here's another technique is that when you've done a lot of your sliding you can make it even nicer by adding some transparent spray paint and you can work with a fan brush and you can work with your fingers and you can blend that paint gradually into your paper and create a much more streaky soft so anywhere that you need a more blending you can just do it with your fingers or with a soft fan brush and in this case, I'm just blending it horizontally a little bit upwards, creating streaks of color. And you see how quickly we've created a beautiful kind of flaming sky here. And if uh, you don't have enough color, you can also lay some down just with your spray cans. All right, so I'm just spraying some more colors onto my magazine paper here in the center. I want brighter colors, so I'm gonna use some whites and some yellows, and then I can just blend that in a little bit with my fingers. And I can add some more just by spraying it on, a little more white and yellow, because I want a little more color in the center, and just blend that in with my fingers. All right, here's another technique. Onto that paper, I've sprayed some, some more colors and instead of sliding it, I can apply it just by touching it to the paper. And then I can blend that in. And that gives you very different kinds of very striking, tiny little uh, details. And you can use this technique to make galaxies. It works really, really well for galaxies and any place where you need a kind of a, a flash of, of color. And I'm using um, not a lot of Montana hardcore mostly, but I'm using a little bit of color place white. Uh, you could use Molotov white instead. But pretty much, um, you're going to be able to do this with any spray paint that's thick enough. It's got to be thick enough to make a bright mark on your paper. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little city. Here's another technique. I'm going to create a little city just with my spatula. And since my paper is already dark, uh, it's going to come out dark. Now, if you are using a lighter uh, color poster board and you've painted it, you might get some white highlights in there, but that's cool, you know, just work with it. I'm sure it'll come out nice. You can, you can always add more dark paint uh, with a foam brush or by applying it to newspaper. And now here I'm creating some, some trees. So we've got kind of a silhouette of a town with some trees and some buildings and stuff. And all I'm doing is dabbing at it with a piece of crumpled up magazine paper. It's really, really crumpled because I want nice tiny leaves and I'm taking off more and more paint the farther down I go into that dark area, the more paint I'm going to remove because I want it to fade into just a silhouette. So I can take off more paint from those trees by getting a clean piece of magazine paper, crumpling it up and removing some paint. And I, I get what looks like the silhouette of a town and a sunset and I'm even making some some telephone wires there some spires and buildings in the distance and then I can blend it into some black paint at the bottom and then with my uh, crumpled up magazine paper I can blend that black into the building so it looks a little bit like a, a layer of dark trees I'm not sure what's going on you know it's a silhouette yeah, and there's another thing there's a little bit of a transparent red from Molotov and I'm just spraying it a little bit 
on the top so that the sky has a little bit of a foggy red color. You can use a metallic red for that and it'll work just fine too. And I'm putting some lights in by spraying uh, through my poster board that has a hole poked in it and creating like some some electric lights that are on in the town. And with a piece of poster board with some holes cut in it, I can make a little sign and we'll add some birds with my paint spatula and we have a nice painting of the silhouette of kind of an interesting town, town with spires and telephone wires and, and a beautiful sunset. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you use it to make some cool stuff. And here's some other things you can make with spray paint. Incredibly, you can do all of this with spray paint very, very quickly. So your imagination is the limit. Come learn all of these secrets at spraypaintartsecrets.com. Please come sign up to be a basic member or a gold member. Basic members get access to like 10 videos and a book on their first month. And then they, they get a, like from five to 10 videos each month after that. And then uh, gold members get access to everything. And we've been online since October 2011. So there's months and months and months of content for you to download and to learn from. Uh, pretty much it's like a library. You can look up anything you want to paint and check it out and feel free to make requests and I'll, I'll make more stuff. <laughs> I'm having fun. I hope you are. Hope you're inspired. All right. See you inside. Hasta pronto.